We're going to take it and we're going to make it like it should be, respected. Right now, we're not respected. Right now, our country is known as a joke. It's a joke. Other leaders who I speak to, other leaders can't believe what happened to us. Because three years ago, we were the most respected country anywhere in the world by far. We were doing things that nobody could believe. China was paying us billions and billions of dollars. In 25 years, they paid us nothing, zero, not 10 cents. I was getting billions of dollars, and they were happy about it, as happy as you can be. Of course, maybe there's reasons for things having happened, but they were not, uh, they were not so happy with certain things, I guess, based on things that took place. But they were, we were getting along with everybody. We were getting along, and we were respected by everybody. We had no wars. Remember when I had the debate with Hillary Clinton? She said, look, look at him. Look at that personality. He's going to cause wars, wars. I said, no, my personality is going to keep us out of wars. And that's what happened. <laughs> For 20 years, they were fighting ISIS. I defeated ISIS in four weeks. I got rid of ISIS 100 percent, 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate. And we had no wars, and we stopped wars. We weren't getting along with a lot of countries. All of a sudden, North Korea, which is a serious nuclear power, but North Korea came along. Kim Jong-un, we got along very well. We got along very well with China until COVID. That was a little bit too much, as far as I was concerned. That was too much. Couldn't take that one. But we made a trade deal with China that I don't even talk about. $50 billion a year in product they bought from our farmers, our manufacturers. They used to buy 10. I got 50, and it was great. But COVID, uh, I, I don't even talk about that, because COVID was such a horrible thing. It started in the Wuhan labs, just as I said. It's the Wuhan labs. And it came out, I believe, through incompetence. I believe it was incompetence. Some people think it wasn't, but I believe it was. But regardless, it caused $60 trillion worth of damage and death all over the world, all over the world. And we did a fantastic job on that. We never got credit for that. Unbelievable job on that. We came up with things that nobody thought was possible. Don't forget, when it came in, nobody had an idea what it was. They didn't even use the word pandemic. Nobody had an idea. But we did a fantastic job. And we got a lot of credit for the economy, a lot of credit for our foreign policy. I think credit like nobody, very few people have gotten. And the press was very honest about it. They give us very high marks on foreign policy, the Abraham Accords, so many different things we did.